Okay, in this video I'm going to show you a couple ways to adjust the start and end date. So you want student, this is real important actually for pacing, you want students to have a start date and an end date that makes sense within the scope of when they're working. You have to realize that assignments will be released and pacing and everything is based upon the negotiation of when they start and when they're supposed to end. Everything is based on that. So it's pretty important. So there's one way you can do this where if you just click student, I'll just pick a student here. All right, I go to students and I highlight that student. And then I go, uh, or excuse me, I don't, I don't click that. I just click on the actual, whoops. I click on the student's name. All right, once I click on that name, um, I go up here to edit options so I could click let's say I wanted to only do this for one of his courses I'll show you a way to do it with all courses here in a minute but edit options and then I can go down here and for this student change the start and the end date in case there's some, something different all right so that's how to do that for one student um, and then I'm going to take it to the beginning let's let's talk about how to to ensure that all your classes um, are set to a beginning, beginning and an end. If you have a new student come on halfway through, obviously you'll, your start date is when they start and the end date. Um, if you set the course, it'll follow that end date already. So that's what I'm going to show you. So if you go to Courses, Manage Courses. Now I'm in a middle school here. Uh, you can see I'm at West Branch Middle School. So I, I'm going to click on the top. I want to do this for all classes so they're just set kind of as default. All right, so you can see 50 of them are captured. Well, the problem is there are other pages. There are 202, but I only captured 50. Now, I don't feel like doing this the whole, you know, for every page to get to my 200. So right over here, there's a way to just select all 202 courses, which is great. And it tells you all 202 are selected. Now I go to edit course options. And now you can group or manage all this. And again, this should be a setting that you have. Right, if you scroll all the way down right here to start date and target date, if I click on that, now I can change the start date and the end date. You just have to be careful. Um, you just have to be careful. You know, it's good to do this at the beginning, but you really want to think about why you're doing this and then make small adjustments with individual students if, if they they don't fit with inside the scope of that. So. Um, but I would just click change start date and then I would, you know, obviously adjust it. Then I would do the same thing and adjust it. Okay, that's one way. There's two ways I just showed you. One is how to do the individual student and then the other is how to do the courses and kind of get them set up. I like getting all the courses set up like that. It makes a ton of sense. Um, but again, you really have to think about what your goal is and, and how that works. So, um, okay. Thank you for watching, and uh, eGroup, uh, appreciate you spending some time uh, getting to know the system better.